Recently, some IMTS staffers went to the local motors headquarters in Chandler, Arizona to build the first ever IMTS car. It's a sneak peek at what's to come in the Emerging Technology Center at IMTS 2012. Jake Irvin came along on the car build and he's going to tell us a little bit about his experience. How are you, Jake? I'm doing great, Penny. Thanks for asking. So break it down. How did it go? Well, let me just correct you. Let me start off and correct you. It's, it's a lot more than an IMTS car. It's actually the IMTS Rally Fighter. And this thing is awesome. Uh, the design was based off of the P-52 Mustang, which was one of our fighter jets in World War II. So it's got a really neat look to it. I mean, it looks like a fighter jet. You're sitting inside of a finished, you know, rally fighter, and it just feels like you're ready to take off. Um, but the experience was truly exceptional. Growing up as a kid, I didn't work on cars that often. Um, the most I've ever done is maybe change my rotors and, and the oil in the car. So to see how a car is built from the ground up is really, I mean, it's exceptional. I've never, I've never seen, I've never done anything like it. Um, we got to put in the drivetrain, the transmission, the steering column, um, a bunch of hoses for hydraulic stuff and coolants, and obviously I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> but, um, you know, getting to do all those things and getting your hands in there and actually putting it together, at the end of the day, you have a real sense of accomplishment because you've made something. You don't just turn the computer off and that's it. I mean, we made a car in the time we were there. So I'm really excited to see how it goes on the floor at IMTS. And, um, I mean, if it's something I could do again, you know, just, just tell them and, and send me out there. I'll go to Chandler again. That was awesome. That's great. Well, something to really look forward to in the ETC. So we have some videos from the build, and let's see how it went. Hello, this is Bonnie Gurney with IMTS TV, reporting live from Local Motors in Chandler, Arizona. We're watching the beginning build of our IMTS Rally Fighter car, which is very similar to the car that's right behind me. And some of the specs are a 6.2 liter V8 engine, it's an automatic transmission, 430 horsepower, and it's a rear wheel drive car. We'll be, we'll be here filming all week, so check back on the progress of the IMTS Rally Fighter car. This has been Bonnie Gurney with IMTS TV from Local Motors in Chandler, Arizona. This is Bonnie Gurney with IMTS TV on location in Chandler, Arizona at Local Motors Microfactory. We're here building the IMTS Rally Fighter car. Today it started off by the car chassis being wheeled in by the build team into its build spot, which is bay number one. And once it got settled, then the team started adding the fuel tank and the fuel lines. And then after that, they moved on to adding the brake lines and then they started doing the the electrical chassis yes the electrical chassis they started running the electrical chassis throughout the car and then during all of that the build team of four Travis Julie Jack and Mick prepped the engine and the transmission and what we're seeing now is the final install of the motor and transmission into the car chassis which is very cool. Um, so that should all be done by the end of the day. Join us again tomorrow on day two of the IMTS Rally Fighter car build. This has been Bonnie Gurney at Local Motors in Chandler, Arizona. Hello, this is Bonnie Gurney with IMTS TV on location in Chandler, Arizona at the Local Motors Microfactory. We're here for day two of the IMTS car build experience. If you don't know what Local Motors is, it's a new American car company where you can choose which concepts are developed and brought to market. And I am here today with Mike, the lead mechanic on the IMTS car build. Welcome, Mike. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. We wanted to find out how things are going on day two of the car build. Things are going pretty well. Day two is typically uh, the day where we install all the suspension, so the front control arms, the shocks, the uprights, the brakes, and then we'll transition to the back. We'll do the rear axle, which uh, they're completing right now. They're installing the, the center section of the rear axle. We'll eventually slide the axle shafts themselves in. We already have the uh, control arms in place ready to go. We'll wheel the rear axle over, and then we'll begin to install that. 
Okay, great. And now I heard you have been with Local Motors for many years now. Mm -hmm. And since you're one of the lead mechanics here, I was wondering what your favorite part of the build experience well, is. Well, as of late, my favorite thing is anything that involves use of one hand. <laughs> as you can see, I broke a couple of fingers here. So, yes. um, but really it kind of just depends build to build, uh, you know, where the customer kind of uh, enjoys the most part of that build. That's really what I enjoy is to see them learning something and doing something that they're really excited about. Okay. Um, so typically that's big things like installing the engine, installing the transmission. Uh, building the rear axle right. and what I found is normally it's something that maybe they haven't done before and whether it's a person that we've had uh, that has a minimal amount of experience or someone that's been building race cars or rebuilding their own cars all their life yeah. there's always like one thing that maybe they haven't done yet yeah. uh, that they really find interesting so that's the most fun part just to, to see even that most experienced person kind of light learning up and learn new. something new. Yeah. Yeah. Great, that's yep. that's wonderful. And so, how has our IMTS TV build team been doing? So they're far? doing pretty well. There's a, again a kind of varied level of experience, and of course, you always have to deal with different personalities and things like that. And everyone's getting along well. Everyone's having fun and learning things, and we're on schedule. So that's the important part. Oh, great! That's nice to know we're all on schedule. Well, Definitely. thank you, Mike. I appreciate you taking a few minutes to chat with sure. us today. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. All right. And speaking of the build team, I'm here with Travis Egan. He's publisher of Modern Machine Shop, and he has joined us as part of the IMTS build, build team. Hi. Welcome, Travis. Thank you. So how has the build been going for you? I've really enjoyed it. It's been a good experience. I've learned a lot. I didn't know too much about uh, putting cars together or repairing vehicles, and uh, I've learned quite a lot this week. Great. And so far. So far. <laughs> so what do you think the IMTS community is going to think of the, IM the IMTS Rally Fighter car? I think they're going to love it. Uh, put together about, I don't know, there's hundreds of parts in this car that are precision machined, and uh, if any of those parts fail at any time, there's a lot of work that goes into taking everything apart and putting it back together again. Everything has to be in the right spot. I've learned a lot about just the precision need for precision parts uh, as part of this experience. So I think they'll appreciate it and they'll really enjoy it. So Mike will appreciate what you just learned. Of course <laughs> The precision you about cars. And stuff. I've got both my hands. I've got some bloody <laughs> knuckles, but uh, I've learned a lot and oh, it's been hard work. <laughs> That's good. And um, so what made you want to be part of the IMTS build team? I was familiar with local motors and the whole uh, community uh, aspect of putting the car together and, and coming up with the concept for the vehicle um, through some other experiences. And gosh, to have an opportunity to, to experience something like this, it's really an experience of a lifetime. So I was real happy to have the opportunity. Well, we're glad you joined us. I think you made the team even more fun. So. One of those personalities. Yes. Well, thank you, Travis. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for listening to us today for day two and stop back by because we are going to take the rally fighter for a little spin and maybe they'll even let me drive. This has been Bonnie Gurney with IMTS TV at Local Motors in Chandler, Arizona. Hello, this is Bonnie Gurney with IMTS TV on location in Chandler, Arizona at the Local Motors Microfactory. We're finishing up at the end of day two on the build of the IMTS rally fighter car. We've made a lot of progress. It just doesn't look like it right now. They installed the front and rear suspension, including the upper and lower control arms, shocks and sway bars. They also installed the rear axle, the starter, the catalytic converter, steering rack, and the emergency brake. Now, if they would just install the wheels, maybe I can take this thing for a spin. Hey, Mike, do you think I can drive this thing tomorrow? You know, I can't drive this without a steering wheel. When's the steering wheel going to be put in? <gasps> and the pedals. What about the pedals? And the mirrors. Oh, Mike, when am I going to get the keys to this car so I can drive this thing? Hi, this is Jake Irvin with AMT. I'm part of the build team here at Local Motors in Chandler, Arizona. We're building the IMTS Rally Fighter car, as you can see behind me. Now, you might notice that we've taken out some of the body pieces. Um, we're doing some mods on those and we're going to get them back in here. I'm going to go ahead and strap the camera on my head so you guys can get a bird's eye view of what's going on in the shop and what we've done with the Rally Fighter. So here we go. All right, so here's the Rally Fighter. You can see the transmission in there, um, the exhaust down there. We had some pieces in, but like I said earlier, we're doing some mods on those. Putting in the gas pedal, uh, we're putting on the headlights. Um, you know, we've done a bunch of riveting today. Uh, we'll get the suspension hooked up later on, but we're just, uh, you know, we're getting there. We're, we're pretty close to being done with this car. Um, over here is our tool bay. You can see Locomotors is only using the best tools. And then if we continue on down the shop floor here, um, here's another car that, that, that they're producing. But you can see it's a little further along. 
Uh, you got the front end on here and you got the headlights and the grill all mounted. The suspension's hooked up and this puppy's about ready to go. Um, so if we continue further down the line here at Local Motors, we're going to see another car. Now the user or the, uh, the guy who's purchasing the car, whoever's purchasing the car, can make whatever modifications he wants. So that's why you'll see it'll be a little different than the other one we were looking at. But all in all, it's part of the same process and uh, they, they produce cars here all the time. Um, and they're working on the rally fighter right now. Here's the body, uh, just a stripped down body, but you can see all the structural integrity. I mean, look at that, uh, that center joint there with all the, with all the bars. You can see the round bar and they got the square bar going in there to really make it structurally sound. Um, here at Local Motors, they really incorporate the engineering with the design side of it so that it really comes together um, without too many hiccups. And then over here, you can see the guys working on a car that's just about finished. Uh, they do great work here. I mean, that thing looks amazing. So this is Jake Irvin with AMT from the floor of Local Motors in Chandler, Arizona. Stay tuned on Facebook and Twitter to see what we do with the rest of the car. Thanks. Hello, this is Bonnie Gurney with IMTS TV on location in, in Chandler, Arizona at Local Motors Microfactory. Welcome to day three of the IMTS Rally Fighter car build. We are on hump day, halfway through the build week. I'm Jake Irvin, the new build team member here at Local Motors. And today we hustled around and got the hump in the car. We also installed some heat and hoses. How's that for hammer time? And earlier today, we got to hot rod it around the hot desert roadster, and the, then the team hunkered down and everyone got to help out with the build. So hurry back tomorrow and check us out as we complete the second half of our wholehearted effort. This has been Bonnie Gurney and Jake Irvin with IMTS TV in Chandler, Arizona at Local Motors. Hey, it's Jake Irvin from AMT back at Local Motors in Chandler, Arizona on the IMTS Rally Car Fighter build. I'm a build team member, and aside from doing the Facebook and YouTube updates, uh, I really want to get in and be part of the action. So let's see if the guys need any help. Hey, why don't you install the rear view mirror? Ah, that goes in the rear of the car, right? Hey, Mick. Hey. I got the rear view. Uh, where do we install this puppy? Well, right here? Typically, it goes on the windshield. You might want to try that, but it's nice to, nice to see you. Oh, right, <laughs> the windshield. Bye-bye. A wise man once told me, when you find yourself in a hole to quit digging. But I don't know what building a car has to do with gardening, so I'm going to install the emergency brake. <laughs> oh, hey, Russ. How you doing, man? How's it going, Jake? It's going great. Uh, we're going to install the emergency brake right here in the middle, right? Um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure that's where that goes. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll consult the manual. Yeah, that's, that's probably best. Thanks for nothing, Russ. So I haven't had the best luck with the rear view or the emergency brake. So I'm going to go ahead and try to change the oil filter. Let's give it a shot. Alright, there's the, uh, yeah, the engine. Okay, I found that and uh, got the mounting bracket and where is that thing? Uh, I think I got it. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's the oil filter, but uh, I'm about a quart low. <coughs> Well, I think I'm a real asset to the build team here. Uh, hey, Ben, anything else I can help you guys out with? Uh, why don't you go for a beer run? I <laughs> messed that up, too. <laughs> I get it. All right, guys, well, thanks for helping us build a car, and we'll see you at IMTS. The winner of the first ever IMTS 2012 Rally Fighter Graphic Car Skin Competition is... Heather True, Marketing Assistant Graphic Designer at Big Kaiser Precision Tooling Incorporated. As the designer of the winning skin, True will receive $1,050 along with highlighted status on The Forge, an exclusive Local Motors winner's gear. Congratulations, Heather! Why do you need to attend IMTS? Because IMTS will provide you with new manufacturing technologies and ideas. The International Manufacturing Technology Show, or IMTS, is the largest manufacturing technology show in the Western Hemisphere. It's the best show to get ideas and find answers to your manufacturing problems, to see new solutions and demonstrations, and choose the best for your needs. 
you can compare technologies from around the world in one place and get the edge you need to stay competitive in your field in the future. More than 82,000 industrial decision makers, including many of your competitors, attend IMTS to get ideas and find answers to their manufacturing problems. Attend IMTS 2012 and dominate your competition. At IMTS 2012, attendees find ways to cut costs and generate more work. They know that to survive and succeed, they must keep up with technology to stay ahead of their competitors. Show after show, attendees tell us they get the answers they need. They see new technologies demonstrated and they hear from world-leading industry experts. Who should attend IMTS? Everyone involved in manufacturing will benefit from experiencing the vast array of technologies available at IMTS. Executives building a business, decision makers involved in manufacturing equipment purchases, engineers who identify equipment needs, plant supervisors who will set it up, operators who use the equipment and know it better than anyone else, all staff members and suppliers you count on for new ideas. The International Manufacturing Technology Show is one of the largest industrial trade shows in the world, with more than 1,100 exhibitors and 1.1 million square feet. The 2012 show runs from September 10th to the 15th at McCormick Place in Chicago. Registration is open now. IMTS 2012. Be there.